right, good morning. I'd like to welcome everyone to the 2018 Mountain Elementary D.A.R.E. graduation. Uh, I'd like to start by thanking the people who make this day possible. Uh, and that's the city of Miamisburg, the Miamisburg City Schools, and the Miamisburg Police Department. Uh, without their support of the program, uh, we couldn't gather today for this uh, celebration for the graduates. Um, I'd also like to thank all the fourth grade students who have attended today. I look forward to seeing you next year in D.A.R.E. class. Uh, I'd like to thank all the parents and relatives who have joined us today. Uh, I had a great time working with the kids this year. Uh, they're a good group, they're a fun group, uh, and we covered a lot of topics. We talked about accurate information about alcohol and tobacco. Uh, we talked about good decision-making skills and how to resist peer pressure. Uh, we talked about bullying and being good citizens. And finally, we talked about how to be safe with over-the-counter prescription drugs. The goal for you fifth graders is to take the information uh, we talked about and use it especially as you get into middle school and high school and you encounter some difficult situations, remember some of the things we talked about. Uh, we have some guests today that came to congratulate you on your accomplishment. Uh, from the Miamisburg Municipal Court, we have your mayor, Robert Reddick. Good morning. From the Miamisburg City Schools, we have your superintendent, Dr. David Vail. From the Meisberg Police Department, we have the Chief of Police, John Sedlak. And of course, you all know your principal, Mr. Black. All of our guests would like to say a few words, and we'll begin with Dr. Vail. Thank you, Officer Sheriff. It's, it's certainly a pleasure and a privilege for me to be here to be a part of this graduation ceremony. On behalf of the entire Minesburg City School District, the Board of Education, the administration staff, we want to congratulate you on getting through the program. It's a very important part of your education. You know, these people sitting back here, those were your first teachers. Your parents, your grandparents, brothers, sisters, aunts and uncles, they taught you well. They were your first teachers growing up. They taught you right from wrong, good, good and bad, and what you needed to do to survive before you got to school. Then you got to school and you had some wonderful teachers here. Taught you math, science, social studies, music, PE, whatever it might have been. And we have one addition to our staff, Officer Doug Sheritz. He does a great job teaching some of the things that we don't teach you. Talking about bullying, drugs, alcohol, tobacco. And that's certainly important knowledge for you to have as you go on in your life. You need to be able to make those decisions. And I know we're going to hear a lot about the decisions that you do make on a day-to-day -day basis. You're going to get challenged and people are going to talk about that. Somebody's going to ask you to do something and they're going to challenge you to do something, dare you to do something. And they're going to expect you to do some of those things, that peer pressure, that bullying. Just remember, you're not in this alone. Okay? You've got each other. You've got the people sitting back there. You've got your teachers, not just here in this school, but as you move on to the middle school and high school. So never think that you're alone in any of this. You've got plenty of help, plenty of people to support you, and plenty of people that will, you can reach out to. So don't, don't forget to do that when you need to. Okay? Don't feel scared. Don't feel like you have to go it alone. Uh, we talk about that bullying. We talk about the drugs and alcohol. Uh, on, our, on our website, there is a bullying hotline button that you can react to. That's not just for bullying. You see anything. You hear anything. You know of anything. Anything that you might be aware of, please let us know. Get on there. We're, you know, we're adopting that you know, see something, say something type attitude. We want to make sure that we address the situations. We, we can't handle something if we don't know about it. So we're counting on you as citizens of Miamisburg, part of the Miamisburg City School District, to help us to address this. Not just us, but the, the courts and the police as well. We want you to have a great, safe, and happy life. And these are part of the things that go into that. We want you to have a great rest of your year. you got a couple more days left. We hope you finish up strong. Have a wonderful summer, and good luck to you at the middle school next year. Congratulations. Next, we have Chief Sedlak. Thank you, Doug. Good morning, dear graduates. Good morning, dear graduates. Good morning. Is that the best you can do? Let's get one more time. Good morning, dear Good morning. graduates. Good morning. <laughs> okay, fourth graders, you heard them. Let's see what you can do. Good morning, fourth graders. Good morning. 
That's going to be a lively Democrat class next year, Doug. Good morning, parents. Good morning. Ah, okay, that's good. That's good. Who's ready for uh, summer vacation? Yeah, everybody. Every who wants to stay in school during the summer? Nobody. Nobody. Okay, well, just bear with us for a little bit more, okay? Um, as Dr. Bell was talking about. You know, you're going to be challenged uh, down the road. The reason you get D.A.R.E. in fifth grade, why do you think that is? Why do you think we start that in fifth grade? Okay, the, the girl with the great blue hair. Yep. Okay, I couldn't hear any of it. <laughs> but I'm going to assume you said, or this is the answer anyway, or one of the great answers. That was probably a better answer, but I couldn't hear it. Um, because you're getting of that age. You're getting of that age where you're going to start being a little bit more by yourself, a little bit further from home, meeting new friends, meeting new people you don't know. And as you do that, all sorts of good things happen, right? All sorts of good things happen. But other things will come into your realm. And people will try to lead you astray. Or circumstances will attempt to lead you astray. So you learn the great dare lessons, right? You learn them. You're all graduating today. And I know that we're going to hear papers. And we're going we're gonna to see how well you learned the lessons. But the important lesson of all that is that was the easiest part. What's going to be the harder part is when you find yourself really in a position where you're really being pressured by people. And it might not be somebody you don't like. What makes it even harder if it's somebody you do like, somebody you do know, somebody you do consider a friend, somebody you respect. Because that can happen. They can, they can make mistakes. And it's going to be hard. I guarantee you. Those decisions and those times are going to be hard. That's when what you learned becomes so important. You know the information. Your gut will tell you, which is your conscience, it will tell you what's right and wrong. You'll know. You'll know. You've got to be strong then. You've got to use the tools you learned then. And you know what? Later on, talk to somebody about it. It could be Officer Doug. It could be any police officer. We're always there for you. It could be any of your teachers. It could be your mom and dad. But you need to bring them in. They need to know what's happening in your life. Don't keep secrets. Let everybody know. And you know what? They'll be very proud of you, number one. But number two, they will assist you through difficult times to make it easier. Okay? They'll be a great support system. So I look really forward to hearing the great dare papers that we're going to hear today. I know they're going to be really great. Don't forget your lessons as you go and leave this classroom and as you go into summer vacation and you find that you might need it. Don't forget these lessons. That's when they'll be all important. Sound good? Okay. You guys have a great summer vacation. And Judge Rick. Thank you. First, good morning. So nice to be here. I had to rearrange my schedule to make it. Now, I need to pretend to be I'm the mayor for a minute. Joe, would you step out here? Because we need to thank the videographer. He records every one of these dear graduations. <laughs> Joe does a great job. and. We, he's underappreciated. Uh, so I better look good today, Joe. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm Bob Reddick. I'm the Miamisburg Municipal Court Judge, and I have a very keen vested interest in you doing well, okay? It'd be a little more business and a little less work for me if I never have to see you in court, all right? Now, I'm, Miamisburg is a big jurisdiction, includes West Carrollton, Germantown, Miami Township, all of German Township, a little slice of Carlisle, a slice of Springboro. We're just all, all of Miami Township, it's just packed. And it's a growing, vibrant place. And as the mayor says, I assure you that if you stay away from drugs and finish high school, you'll have a great life. I really mean that, and the mayor means it when he says it because it's true. You've been born into a place of relative affluence. And if you just don't make some serious mistake, you're gonna have a great life. Now, I've always liked coming, this is probably, I, they're all gonna see this, so when I'll get crucified over this. Uh, Mound's my favorite class school to come to. I don't know, all my, my friends when I was young lived around here, and I spent a lot of time around here. And I love your, the Gophers motto, responsible for the choices I make. I lately see all these people and they never have any personal responsibility. They make choices, but it's never their fault. It's been my experience that the right choice is the hard one, the hard one. Now you're gonna be challenged as Chief Sedlek and the superintendent said. It's not gonna be in the bright light of some gym. It's gonna be in the dark of night, maybe in a car, maybe in a basement but somebody's gonna ask you to do something you know is not right. Don't do it. If you see your friend doing it, be a good friend. Tell them it's not right. Stand up to do the right thing. Now, the reason you, know, you get DARE here is because you're, re you're going to become autonomous. That means making your own decisions. And we're counting on you making the right ones. If you have any doubt about what to do, think of what you learned here in DARE. Make that tough, hard choice. I don't want to go on forever and ever, but I'm just so happy to see so many parents and the relatives of the children here today. It means a whole lot. That's a good support group that you have. I'll just, I'll talk forever if I don't sit down. <laughs> Thank you and congratulations. Uh, one person that wasn't able to attend today is the mayor, Dick Church. Uh, I know he'd like me to uh, send his congratulations to you. Unfortunately, he had to attend to some city business today. But uh, Mayor Church loves coming to the D.A.R.E. graduations, and uh, he's happy that you guys are graduating today. Uh, the last thing the D.A.R.E. students do uh, is they write a D.A.R.E. report. Uh, everyone sitting over there wrote one and also uh, read it to their classmates. Uh, and we selected a few to share their reports today, and we'll begin with Ryla Zeri. You have a voice. Death. This is what I think of when I hear the word DARE. DARE stands for Drug Abuse Resistance Education. You can die from tobacco, smoking, alcohol, and drugs. It can take one time to die from these things. Alcohol slows down your brain. Smoking causes heart disease. Tobacco results in mouth cancer. All three of these items are considered as drugs. Nobody should have to go through this. Just learn to say no. Drugs. Drugs are a substance that people take. Sometimes doctors will prescribe you good drugs that will make you feel better. Antibiotics and others are good drugs. People sometimes use bad drugs, drugs that can kill you. Nicotine, marijuana, and crack are more, and more are bad drugs. They can and will harm you. A lot of the time people use drugs because of peer pressure. Peer pressure is where a person your age will pressure you into trying something that is usually bad for you. That is not a good friend. Drugs can cause different types of cancer. Your brain, throat, mouth, tongue, lungs, heart, organs, and your liver are some of the body parts that can get affected when they come in contact with drugs. It then can lead to fatal accidents. Dale assured me to say no. Officer Doug tried to trick us by putting in some difficult situations, but everyone did amazing. They did the right thing. Be a leader and not a follower. Abuse. Abuse is something used irresponsibly. People often abuse drugs. They take overdoses of medicine. You shouldn't play with your health. 
400,000 Americans die from tobacco each year. Every 12 months, 50,000 people die from smoking. 75,000 deaths result in alcohol per year. That is about 525,000 deaths per year that people die from drugs. That is way too much. Don't ever play and abuse medicines, especially without your parents knowing that you're taking them. Just a small amount can hurt you. Resistance. Resistance is when you refuse to do something. Unfortunately, a lot of people forget to resist. They give in to peer pressure, which is something you should never do. Education. When I was in DARE, I learned a lot of things. I learned how to use the DARE decision-making model. I learned how to resist. I learned the results and effects of drugs. I learned how to stick up for myself and how to be confident, even if I don't feel confident. I learned so much more stuff and I could go on for a long time. Dara showed me that there was hope that people will stop drugs. Just make your choice and not someone else's. Death. This is the result of tobacco. Death. This is the result of smoking. Death. This is the result of alcohol. You can die from all of these things. It only takes one time. Once you try it, you can become addicted to it. It harms your body. It changes you. I thought there was nothing to do to stop it, but Dale showed me there is a way. I am honored to be in this class because every one of my peers would say no. They will resist. I am so honored to be graduating with all these people. They deserve it. And thank you, Officer Doug, for helping me learn about Dale. I, Riley Zarian, pledge that I will never do smoking, alcohol, tobacco, or any types of drugs. I promise. You have a say in what happens. Use it correctly. You have a voice, so use it. Always remember that. Next, we have Maddie Bauer. Dare has been really fun and useful for me. I have learned many important things, but in a fun way. The Dare Decision Making Model, DDMM, has come in handy many times. I plan to use many things I have learned in Dare for my choices later on in life. Dare is really fun. I have learned so many things I can't even name them all. But I remember the first thing that I learned, what tobacco and cigarettes can do to me. I don't know about you, but I don't want to look like I'm 80 when I'm actually 20. Wrinkly skin, yellowed, or even no teeth? Ew, who really wants that to happen to them? There are actually more than 200 known harmful chemicals in cigarettes. They are also of nicotine, and that sounds bad. The definition, a powerful substance that can cause addiction, worse. Sometimes making the right choice is hard, especially if it has something to do with your friends, like one of them offering you a cigarette. That's hard to say no. Why? Because they are our friends and we don't want to hurt them. But really, the cigarette is hurting them more than you ever will. I have used the Dare Decision Making Model, DDMM, many times in the past month. Like this one time, I wanted to go to a friend's lake house, but another friend had a birthday party. I think I made the right decision. I gave the birthday person a present and I went to the lake house. Safe and responsible choices are very important. Whatever you choose, it will have a consequence. Good or bad depends on you. If you see someone walking up to you with a cigarette, walk away before they can say hi. Walking away will remove some peer pressure and it might just embarrass them enough to not ask you again. I plan to use the methods of saying no, walking away, changing the subject, and many more later on in my life. If this might happen to be your friend, say no. Safe and responsible choices are very important. Dare has been really fun for me. The things I have learned will impact my life even more than it already has. The DARE decision making model has been very useful in times of need. Remember, DARE to say no to drugs. Next we have Macy Bell. Drugs Abuse Resistance Education, that's what DARE stands for. We should all use this very wisely. DARE has really helped me understand what drugs can do to you. I now understand that one bad decision can lead to many bad decisions down the road. There are a lot of things that DARE has taught me. I learned that drugs can not only make you very unhealthy, but it can also stop your growth and possibly kill you. My family and I will be at home watching the news and then something pops up that someone died because of drugs. When I hear that, it actually makes me sad inside because they died of something that could have been prevented from happening. Secondhand smoking is bad too. Secondhand smoking is when someone is smoking and another person breathes in the smoke. This is why if you do smoke, never do it around, never do it around someone else, especially children. 
Just smoking alone can lead to a lot of different problems. The cigarettes in which you smoke contain a substance called nicotine. This substance causes an addiction to smoking. Nicotine can lead to upper respiratory problems and even death. There are, there are almost 50,000 deaths each year just because of smoking. These deaths could have been stopped if people didn't smoke. Believe it or not, there are more alcohol-related deaths each year than there are smoking deaths. There are about 75,000 alcohol-related deaths each year. This is because alcohol slows down the brain and body. Alcohol also reduces the amount of blood pumped to and from the heart. Some effects due to alcohol are loss of coordination, slow reflexes, memory loss, loss of self-control, and poor judgment. This is why you shouldn't drink a lot of alcohol. If you are under the age of 21, you shouldn't be drinking any. If you make your own decision and drink a lot of alcohol, you can not only be hurting yourself, but the people around you too. There is a great way to lead you down the right path in life. It teaches you what to do and what not to do. I know that this dare class will help me through rough patches throughout my life. I, Macy Bell, pledge to never do drugs, cigarettes, alcohol, or tobacco. Good job. Next, we have Kenley Gore. DARE. Do you know what DARE stands for? It stands for Drug Abuse Resistance Education. DARE teaches you about how to say no in situations and other life choices you would have to make. During DARE, I have learned many important things. When there are decisions to make, you would want to use the DDMM. The DDMM stands for DARE Decision Making Model. It helps you make the right choice in certain situations. All these things that I have learned, I definitely plan to use them in the future to make safe and responsible actions and choices. Dare to use you a lot of things to use. One thing Officer Doug taught us about was tobacco. Tobacco has very negative effects on your brain and body when you smoke or chew tobacco. For example, some negative effects are nicotine in cigarettes and chewing tobacco reduces the amount of blood that flows to the brain, so therefore it interferes with the way the brain works. Also, chewing tobacco can cause mouth cancer, tooth loss, and other serious health problems. I also learned the negative health effects about alcohol. Some of these effects are too much alcohol can slow down the body and lead to coma and death. Another one is alcohol goes directly into your bloodstream and can damage every organ in your body. Alcohol weakens the heart muscle and reduces the amount of blood pumped to and from the heart. Those effects are dangerous and life-threatening. Bullying is another thing we learned about in D.A.R.E. There are four types of bullying, social, cyber, physical, and verbal. The five W's of bullying is a great way to report bullying. The first W is who was bullied, the second W is what happened, the third, when did it happen, the fourth, where was it, and the fifth, why did it happen. Those really help to break down the situation. It also helps to report it in a safe manner. Now, if you need help, go to your help network. The people in your help network are people you can trust when there are situations you need to talk about what is going on around you. The people in your help network should be people you are comfortable around. Finally, there are some resistance strategies that will keep you safe. For instance, one is avoiding the areas that have people doing those bad things. If you know people are doing bad things, just avoid the situation and don't go near the places. Also, just say no with giving a believable reason or excuse or hang around with the people that don't use drugs. Walking away or changing the subject is a great resistance strategy. These strategies help out in stressful situations. All the facts and strategies Darius taught me about will help me out when I get older. The Darius decision making model helps out to d define Describe the problem, challenge, or opportunity. A, assess what are your choices. R, respond, make a choice. Use the facts you've gathered. E, evaluate, review your decision. Did you make a good choice? I've used the DARE decision making model for many things. For instance, I want to ride my bike in the street even though my mom doesn't allow me to. I use the DARE decision making model to choose if I should or should not. I defined my problem, which was that I wanted to ride my bike in the street. Next, I assessed and figured out my choices where to ride my bike in the street in the street or not, then responded and made a choice and decided whether or not to ride my bike in the street. Finally, I evaluated my choice and realized I had made a great choice to ride on the sidewalk. It helped me out because I kept myself safe. The inner decision making model is a great strategy to decide what is the better choice to make. There are a lot of things I plan to get ready to make safe and responsible choices. Some things I plan to use are the resistance strategies and know my help network so I can talk to them whenever I need to. Also, I will remember what terrible health effects tobacco and alcohol have on our bodies. Everything I have learned through D.A.R.E., I know I will use it whenever I need to help out in those stressful situations we have sometimes. In conclusion, D.A.R.E. teaches you countless things to use now or use later in life. 
The Dare Decision Making Model is a beneficial tool to keep you safe and healthy for the rest of your life. I will take what I have learned to guide me through my life to make smart decisions and overcome the many obstacles faced by teenagers. Next we have Destiny Adams. How much did you learn in DARE? Well, I know I learned a lot. One of the main things I learned was how to say no to drugs. That was just one of the ma many things I learned. I learned what DARE stands for. DARE stands for Drug Abuse Resistance Education. Another thing I learned was how to make safe and responsible choices. Some adults turn to drugs or alcohol when they're mad or sad. Sometimes they smoke. And more than 50,000 deaths per year are caused by secondhand smoke. Secondhand smoke is the smoke that someone breathes out when they smoke. Some kids put pressure on kids their own age. That, that is called peer pressure. Peer pressure is when kids try to make kids to do things they're not supposed to do, like drugs or alcohol. The pressure the kids put on one another sometimes makes the kids, kids resort to drugs or alcohol. The pressure is really hard on the kids, and, and they do the stuff, and they get addicted to it and, and do drugs and alcohol all the time. That was a summary of what I learned in DARE this year. I definitely learned a lot about drugs and alcohol and some of the, and some of the stuff that can happen to you if you do drugs. Hopefully you learned something in DARE. And Malak Med. Drugs, alcohol, and tobacco. They've had an impact on many people's lives. From what it does to your mind to how they can affect your body, I have learned many valuable things I will never forget. And since DARE does stand for Drug Abuse Resistance Education, not only did our DARE officer teach us about harmful substances, but he also taught us how to stay away from them. Officer Doug has taught us everything we need to, be, we need to know to be safe. For instance, not all drugs are dangerous depending on how you use them. If you use your medicine as it suggests, you are sure to be safe. But if mixed with alcohol, you could cause yourself more pain than you had been in before. Another thing we learned about is tobacco. Filled with over 200 chemicals, one of those being an addictive substance called nicotine, tobacco causes things such as upper respiratory problems and heart disease. And yes, I know this all sounds crazy, but, I, but what I found the most astonishing is that over 100,000 people in the U.S. have tobacco and alcohol-related deaths a year. But every person who took their lives also took a little bit of their family's hearts with them, too. And just to make sure you don't ever become one of these people, I suggest that you use the DARE decision-making model. If you're ever in a sticky situation and you need help, but don't have anyone to help you, just use DARE and the Lion's advice and divide, define, assess, respond, and evaluate. It's that easy. One situation you should always make sure to do this is if you're ever with your friends and you see them smoking and they ask you if you want to join. First ask yourself, what's the problem? Then think about your choices. Then use facts and information to respond to your friends. Last but not least, ask yourself, did I make the right decision? Now I have used this process myself but in less serious positions. You could use it to decide whether or not to eat the last cookie, or if you should really take that thing that isn't yours. Now that you've heard what I have to say, are you going to use this information, or are you just going to throw it all away and forget about the DARE decision-making model? Or you could make wise decisions and stay away from drugs. It's your decision whether you want to make whether you want to live a full and successful life or live a life that is bound to be awful. It's all up to you.
All the students did a great job on their reports, and those six are just a perfect example of that. Uh, the last group of people I'd like to thank uh, before you get your certificates is the staff uh, here at Mound Elementary. They make my job very easy, and that begins with your principal, Mr. Black. And the fifth grade teachers, Mrs. Wee. Ms. Ramali. And Mrs. Elsie. It's now time to receive your certificates and we'll begin with Mrs. Reed's class. Destiny Adams. Shayla Bell. Jaden Bourne. Hannah Katie, Isabel Caudill, Colin Constable, Chris, Christian Cooks, Chloe Finney, Julian Grace. Malik Hamed, Gabe Johnson, Ty Lavelle, Cadence McVeigh, Elena Parson, Garrett Pig. Maya Rodman, Morgan Robinson, Aliana Sizemore, and Caden Thompson. Next, Mrs. Romaley's class. Okay, Addison Balbier. Madeline Bellert. Lincoln Bentley. Kyler Brunner. Samantha Crafton. Nevea Dethridge, Elijah Dorsey, Kenley Gore, Mary Graffis, Madison Harden, Chloe Hill. Devin Mahler, Dylan Miller, Shane Palfrey, Brayden Reeve, Sarah Rice. Momo Ryburn, Brooke Sheehy, Caitlin Sugrol, Madeline Witzerman, Evan Zabrowski. Congratulations, guys. Have a 
great summer. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. And Mrs. Elson's class. Thank you. Congratulations, Mrs. Elson's class. I'm very proud of you. Remember what we talked about when you come up? You guys did it. Congratulations to Audrey Asbury. <laughs> Ashlyn Bailey. Julia Barlow. Macy Bell. Brooklyn Bryant. Kylie Buchanan. Sarah Clemmer. Riley Davis. Kaden Dyer. Gabe Elsass. Tyler Evans. Stonefield. Michael Golab. Abby Mullins. Cora Middleton. Congratulations. Jocelyn Mills. Congratulations. Gavin Stewart. Madison Strasser. Casey Weeks. <laughs> Bryson West. And Ryla Zaring. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Great. You did a really good job. Last thing we'll do as part of D.A.R.E. graduation is I have a short little video to show you of D.A.R.E. classes.
right, congratulate the Derek graduates. I hope you have a safe and happy summer. Same with the fifth graders. And once again, thanks for everyone coming. Thank you.